Arriving at court for sentencing today, a tycoon whose empire was built on fraud. The actual trial of Jean-Claude Mass took place in Marseille in April. He has so many victims, it had to be moved to this convention centre. His breast implant company, PIP, saved millions of euros by using industrial-grade silicone. The fraud only came to light when surgeons noticed how many implants from the same manufacturer were tearing. This woman says today's verdict is excellent. Et que la justice le reconnaisse, c'est une excellente chose. PIP was the world's third largest manufacturer of breast implants. It's believed 300,000 women in 65 countries received implants made by PIP, and about 47,000 of those were here in the UK. One of them was Tracy Ahmed, whose implants did tear. Tracy says no jail sentence for mass would be enough. I'll never forgive him for what he's done to me and for women worldwide. You know, and I'm not a horrible person to wish people bad or anything like that, but I can't get my head round and look at other women how he has been so evil. So, you know, I'm glad he's in prison. Although there's no evidence the low-grade silicone causes cancer, implants which have ruptured have caused horrendous problems. So what's going to change? Well, the government here says private clinics have a moral obligation to remove any PIP implants. And it's likely to look at a crackdown on special deals and advertising. And that's welcomed by many surgeons. I think the problem that this sector has suffered is that people have forgotten that this is a medical procedure. And they look at cosmetic surgery as a commodity, as if you were buying uh, a toaster or a kettle. And actually, whether you have money off or whether you get two procedures for one, uh, these are inappropriate. But this is now big business, and where there's money, there will always be the con men. Today, there is some justice that one more of them is behind bars. Simon Viger, Five News.